Welcome back to Know Your Nodes, the series of Godot game engine videos where we take a single node type from the engine and show how it's used. In this video, we will be talking about the Raycast 2D node. So what is a Raycast? If you've done much reading about game development, you've probably come across the term because rays and raycasting are very useful for solving a lot of different problems in games. At its most basic, a ray, just like you learned in geometry, is a line segment projecting out from a start point. Projecting this ray is called casting, and its purpose is to tell you if and where it hits something. As you can see, the Raycast 2D node in Godot has a bunch of different methods having to do with collisions, and we're going to look at how to use them. As I said, there's lots of uses, but for this video I'm going to demonstrate two of them, ground detection and high-speed projectiles. For this demo, I've made a simple top-down shooter style scene with a player that can walk around and walls that are static body 2Ds so that we have collisions. And what we want to do is implement shooting. Now, one way that you can do this is that you can have uh, sprites that are instanced at the tip of the barrel of the gun and travel in a straight line until they hit something. But where this breaks down is if you want to have your projectiles be very fast moving. If you create a node and animate it moving extremely fast, then you're going to have your physics break down. If you have an object that is relatively narrow and the speed of your projectile is really fast, then it's possible that between frames it will move from one side to the next and you won't detect that collision. And you have to start doing a lot more expensive calculations to make sure that you don't, um, you, you don't have that tunneling effect, which is what it's called. So instead, what we want to do is say, well, you're firing a bullet from a gun. That bullet travels really, really fast. And all we care about is, what does that bullet hit? So if I shoot the gun right now, it should hit the wall over here. And that's where I should see the hit. And I don't really care about animating it traveling along that distance because it moves too fast for you to see, right? It's just going to hit what it hits. And that's what we're going to use a ray cast for. We're going to cast a ray from the gun in a straight line and detect where it hits. So here's our player scene. We have a kinematic body 2D with a sprite and a collision shape attached to it and a script that's handling all of the character controls, uh, rotation, and movement, and wall collision. And so we want to now do the shooting. And so we want to add Raycast 2D to this. So we're going to go to play. We're going to add a Raycast 2D. And there we go. And see, it's, it's drawn in the editor as a blue arrow. And now we just want to change a couple of the parameters. First of all, Anytime you add a new Raycast 2D, it is disabled by default. So if you want to use it, you need to make sure to turn it on. And of course, you can do that in code as well. And first of all, we want this to come out of the barrel of the gun, not out of the player's forehead. So we're going to adjust the position. And the barrel of the gun is about 30 in X and 10 in Y. All right, so we're going to put that at the tip of the gun barrel. And for cast 2, which is this parameter right here, this is set to 0, 50, which is why it's pointing down. So we want this ray to come out of the gun, which is pointing in the x direction. And we're going to put a large number here. We're going to put 1,000, and we're going to set the y to 0. And so this ray is going to come out of the gun and go a long distance. Because what we want to know is, does this hit anything as far as the bullet travels? And we can see this in action if we turn on the visible collision shapes and run our main scene. You will see that ray coming out of the player, right, and showing what direction our imaginary bullet is going to travel when we shoot it. And so now we just want to query that raycast and see where it hits, right? And we're going to get this point right here. OK, so let's go to the script. And let's rename this to the shoot ray. And I'm going to copy this as well. 
because what I want to do is in the player script, I'm going to load a variable for it. Shoot ray is equal to get node shoot ray. So now we have that to refer to. And we're going to set process input to true so that we can have, whenever we press the space bar, we're going to shoot a bullet. So on our input method, we're going to just say if uh, event dot is action pressed UI select, which is the space bar by default, then we're going to shoot, whatever shoot means. Well, let's define that. So the shoot function could do a lot of different things, but what we really care about is we're going to test if the shoot ray is colliding. And if the shoot ray is colliding, what should we do? Well, we need some sort of vis visual feedback that we've hit something. And so on the map, you know, on the 2D map again on the wall somewhere, we want to see a puff of we're going to see a puff of smoke so we can sh see that the bullet hit there. So what we're going to do is we're going to emit a signal. So I'm going to define that signal up here and I'm just going to call it I'm just going to call it hit and then we're going to emit signal hit and oops and then we're going to pass along the location of the hit which is shoot ray dot get collision point and that's going to be the location of where it hit you can also get collision normal you can get collider or collider shape if you want to know what thing you hit uh, or what part of a thing you hit but we care about the point where we hit because that's where we want to spawn the little puff of smoke okay. so that's our player so whenever we hit space we're going to emit that signal if the ray collides with something now to do that I've just made a quick little particle 2d scene that just does a little puff of smoke like this and that's what we want to instance at the hit location. So in our main scene in the script, we have our player instance, and we're just going to connect that signal. So player.connect, the signal is hit, and the method we want to call is show hit. We pass in the hit location, and we just instance one of those puffs of smoke at that location. And that's going to look like this. Let's turn off the collision shapes for a moment. So you can see now whenever I press the space bar, I get a hit at whatever place on the wall that projectile hit. So that's it. And so just to add a little bit more visual appeal. Now, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail, but I just added a quick little trail so that when we emit the signal, we emit the barrel location, which is the player's location plus the offset, which was 30 comma 10, as well as the collision point. And in the main script, when we get those two locations, I am instancing this little this little trail, which is just a, an animated sprite that, that fades. And so that just makes us look a little bit nicer, like we have a little path where you can see where the bullet went. And it just, this is a quick and dirty one. Um, obviously, you could make it look a lot better. But for the purposes of this demo, I just wanted you to be able to see the path of the bullet as well as where it hits. I hope that was helpful. Now let's look at one other application of the Raycast 2D. And this one is even simpler. So we've got a simple platformer here where we have a character and a platform. And using the standard kinematic body 2D, we get the collisions so the player falls, stands on the platform, can run back and forth. 
but we want to do jumping. And right now, what I have is if the up arrow is pressed, we set the velocity to a negative value, which makes them go up. But the problem with that is I can keep pressing the up arrow whenever I want, and I get a negative velocity every single time. And I don't want that. I only want the player to be allowed to jump when they're standing on the ground. And that is another perfect use for a Raycast 2D. In fact, we can do a very, very simple one. So first we open our player scene, and we're going to add the Raycast 2D. Now, we want this, we want this Raycast 2D to, to detect the ground, which means we want it to be sticking down below. Because right now, what are we going to get? We're going to get a collision constantly because this Raycast 2D is colliding with the player. And so we want to do a couple things. Let's name this ground ray. Let's enable it. Remember, always remember to do that. We want to cast or sorry, first we want to move it. Let's move it downwards. All right, I want it to come out from the bottom of the player. And let's also make it a little bit shorter because it doesn't need doesn't really matter, but it doesn't need to stick down that far below. We just need it to come below the player's feet to where we want to detect the ground. So let's just go into the script and we'll add a reference here to it, to the ground race, so that we can refer to it in our code. And here in the jumping, now we're going to say if you press the up arrow key and ground ray is colliding. So if you're pressing up arrow key and the ground ray is colliding, we'll let you set your velocity. And that's all we have to do. So if we run the scene, you will see that if I press the up arrow, I jump. But if I tap it a bunch of times, Nothing happens when I'm already in the air. And that's as easy as it gets. Now, if you have more complicated shapes, you sometimes will have problems with your collision detection happening. You know, the, the ray actually collides with the player. And you can solve that in a couple of ways. The Raycast 2D has an add exception method which lets you name an object for it to ignore and so if you put the if you put the player object in there then the the ray would never detect a collision with that object uh, you can also as with any other collision object in Godot use the layer use the collision layers and the collision masks to uh, set the the ray on a different layer and have it ignore the player that way and this is also a good method for doing wall jumps. You give the player some rays that are sticking out to the left and right, and those can tell you whether you're against a wall or not to allow the player to wall jump. That's another really common use of ray casts. So that'll do it for this video. I hope that you found the examples useful. So the source code for this project will be linked in the description below. Feel free to download it and take a look and play with it yourself and use Raycasts whenever you can. I'll see you in the next video.